Reese changes the pace, changes the score. Six nothing Baylor early. Set this tone for our home crowd today. Have to bend down to make that catch. Now, definitely should have made the catch anyway, though. Pressure coming. Pendergrass spins his way across the 40 and is finally thrown down at the 35 yard line by Shamar Paul. Here by Coach Grimes, the offensive coordinator. You want to neutralize that rush. We'll use it against them with a little bit of a screen to your fullback slash running back. You've got blockers out in front, and then it just. Robertson. Pendergrass swallowed up by Mike Thompson. Hello, 6'4", 300 pounds. He is a freak of nature. It's scary. Somebody that big can move and be agile like that. That's that's a big time play. That's that's the type of play that can get you looked at the next level just because of your size and your ability to go. He is the man, introspective, intelligent, and he's inspired his team to a touchdown. That's the first of the career of Dawson Pendergrass. Hey, that's just a great drive. Hey, they want to play big boy football. The big boys up front still doing work, and these running backs going to town. 170 total yards to the Sharks, 26. Greenwood flushed out of the pocket, can't even get there. Gabe Hall, check that. Byron Vaughn's edge rusher, here it is. He's matched up one-on-one, -on -one, and he just blows by Christos Fernandez, the left tackle. Here it is, field level, inside rush, textbook. State champ in the sprint relay as the snap goes out of the end zone. Williams was, and we'll have a touchback and a safety. Wow. Pat Bowen's your running back. Over the left side for positive yardage. Across the 50 and thrown down by Chateau Reed. Biggest gain of the afternoon for the Sharks. To contain here, down block, seal right there. And that's all he needed to get to the edge. Biggest play of the game right now for the Sharks offense. All right, you got to pay attention to where these safeties are. If you're going to throw this ball, the middle of the field will be open. Look at that sidearm swing underneath it. A first down for Long Island. Unbelievable grab by Avion Smith Mack. A little over a minute. Here it is. It's two safety look. You just pick your matchup, and there it is. You called it sidearming. Man to man coverage, safety over the top. He can't get there, and that's a fantastic grab. The shifty quarterback from New York City says, welcome to New York. Here it is. Everybody, look at the box there. You've got nine players in the box, so in between the hashes right there. So you see that? Now, look at all the confusion in the back. Everybody gets sealed up, blocked there. Excellent block by the receiver at the bottom of that screen. That was the final little free up, if you will, for the quarterback to get in the end zone. It takes the little things. Sawyer Robertson back into the football game. Jackson running three to the 40 yard line. Ball's taken away. Was held up and robbed right at the 40 yard line. The play was made by Johnson. Johnson loses it. Back on the turf it goes. And it looks like Janias Morgan came up with it. He did. Great throw, great catch. And Jackson, this is exactly what you want, but that's what you coach as a defensive player. Now, Jackson might have been down, but that's exactly what you're supposed to do as a secondary guy or a defensive player. Just try to strip this thing away. Here it is. Here's the strip. You got Reese knocking it back out. Then it just turns into, hey, man, every man for himself <laughs> trying to get that pigskin. Is now brewing above us. And a storm here on the field for Baylor. Launching it again down the field. This time, Howell is intercepted. And for the first time this afternoon, we hear the crowd elated. Here it is. You're just trying to throw it in a hole at about the 35, 30-yard line. But it's got to be gone now. 
that pass has got to be on a rope. It can't hang up because that corner is going to fall back and he can make that play every time. You just got to anticipate when a receiver is even with the defensive back. Second and seven. Play fake is blown. And TJ Franklin with his first sack of the afternoon, second on the season. Give an assist to this secondary, really know where to go with the ball. But here, watch the pressure. You see inside pressure. That's the one thing that will drive any quarterback nerve-wise. Nerve here it is, coming right up the middle. Nowhere to step up, Pete. And then it, they just get in. Yeah, thinking about the Wildcats today. Big game for them. Mark Ferrante, done a great job as a head coach. Sawyer Robertson, he can scramble, and he dives for the first down across the 40-yard line. Morgan on the stop. On the back end, here it is. They're playing kind of a cover three. You've got a single high safety. The middle of the field typically would open up, but the routes develop, and it goes into coverage. So, yes, you turn yourself into a football player at the quarterback position. Use your legs and keep the chains. 14 carries on the day. Jake Roberts. Great tackle. Great tackle by Shamar Paul coming up. Big 12 overall in red zone scores. Richard Reese scampers across the five to pay dirt. Second touchdown of the day for the sophomore. Reminding everybody, hey, who was the offensive rookie of the year last year in the Big 12? Team touchdowns on the board. Here it is. Outside zone now. You got to have everybody on the same page. Tight ends, offensive linemen, and receivers. And when you can put hat on hat. Ethan Greenwood, who we've seen at quarterback. Now we see running the football. First down for the Sharks. Watch number three, the wide receiver. He's out here stock blocking right at the bottom. See him hold him there and then kind of do that. Usually that is a flag, but it is not called. So play on. Starting quarterback injured in their first game of the season oh. behind the line of scrimmage. Eric O'Neill says hello. At that time, I, I thought that was the peak of the powers for, for the Big 12. Wells. Springs into the secondary. Out of bounds just over the 40-yard line. That's the start to the drive they needed. This guy's still playing hard. Here it is. Man to man on the outside. You've got that safety at the top. He sees run quickly, but he takes himself out of the play. It's actually number 24, Corey Gordon Jr., but it's sealed up well. Coaches talk up. Bowen in the backfield. Greenwood. Almost stripped down and finally swallowing him up. Bryson Jackson. Dabney in motion. Pendergrass. Wow. Finally gets into space. Look at him securing the football. It's thrown down by Larry Elder. But another explosive play for the Baylor running game. Showing you a little bit of patience here. Sees the cutback. He's been doing it okay. Runs through a couple of arm tackles. And then he just switches the ball, which is outstanding. Pendergrass is the running back. Play fake. Robertson, he's got Dabney, he's got six. Third touchdown of the season for the big tight end from Cypress, Texas. Not a fair fight. You, you've been selling out to stop the run, and then all of a sudden, you've got a naked bootleg. The play action pulls into the play, into the mix there. I, this conference pound for pound solid. Breaking free, the big fella, Jaden Dawkins, rode out of bounds by Bryson Jackson. First down, Sharks. Man on man. Here you go. You bring in the backside guard and tackle. It's a wham block, and there you go. There's the seam that they've been trying to get the entire game. You never can count out USC. You never can count out Oregon, any of those teams. 44-yard attempt from Michael Cooney is blocked and scooped up on the fly by Alfonso Allen. And he's thrown out of bounds short of the 40-yard line. For the Baylor Bears, here it is. The blocking is loose. You saw big number 91 come in there and block this Trey thing. Wilson. Look at that. Just get your paw up and knock it down. So a punctuation mark. Martinez coming in as a closer at quarterback. And Baylor. And the running attack continues to head downhill. We've seen it all day long. Give something.